Hey guys, I'm Katie. So today I'm going to be showing you three um, easy, cute, fun, and super hashtag trendy and hashtag relatable um, school <coughs> DIYs, school back, back to school supplies. Why was that so hard to say? Um, so as you might have seen, I don't know, um, but on Wednesday, I posted probably the scariest video I've ever posted on this channel. Um, so I said that I'm changing my channel name to Katie with a three instead of an E, Art and Crafts. And I don't know why I was so scared to say that. I just thought that people might unsubscribe or anything. I don't know. Actually, people did unsubscribe, but it's okay, you know. <laughs> I'm fine. And actually right now as I'm filming, I haven't posted it yet, um, but I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm scared either way, so yeah. It was all okay in the end. Everyone, well, a lot of people commented really nice things and I really appreciate it. Um, thank you so much if you were one of those really nice people who commented. Um, so yeah. Um, sorry about the long intro. I'll get into it now. Number one. You will need a notebook, some stickers of some sort. Look at these, they're so pretty, and I got them for three quid. You also need some acrylic paint. You need a brush and a palette if you're gonna mix things. And you also need some Mod Podge or like some sealant glue or whatever. You also need tape. And I'm pretty sure that's it. So, yeah. You also need a piece of paper that's pretty thick. And a scissors. So, first off, we're going to paint the actual notebook. Um, it took me like three coats of acrylic paint for each layer. Um, so we're gonna be using the paper as like a pocket so you don't need to um, fill in the entire thing. But um, there I'm just doing three diagonal um, things. And there's a pink one, a blue one, and a yellow one that's going to be in the middle. And by the way, don't be stupid like me, and don't peel the tape off when it's so dry. So now that I have my notebook fully painted, you can see that there's a little bit that I left um, like that, and that's where this thicker paper comes in. So I'm gonna fold it in half to make it like a little more sturdy. And then we're gonna make it the, like, this shape just like to fit around your notebook to make a little pocket at the front. So then I'm just outlining where I need to cut with this super boring pencil. We need to jazz them up in the next DIY, hmm? So yeah, um, I'm just hot gluing the sides together. Okay, so um, I forgot to film me doing a bunch of stuff so um here is the notebook right now i just hot glued on my stickers there because i wanted them to be sort of 3d they do um come off this so i'm gonna use my sealant glue to glue that on but i also glued on this pocket thing so you can put like pieces of paper in there or whatever you want to move money or something. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm going to design this part and I'll film it this time. <laughs> and yeah. So I just randomly decided to draw a cactus on this. I don't know why a cactus came to my mind, but I think it ended up really cute. So, yeah, I'm just copying this um, cactus drawing that I did a while ago, and I'm coloring it in with my Copic markers. Um, and if you haven't seen the review on Copic markers, you should go check it out after you watch this one. I 
also just signed it, you know? <laughs> so now we're going to be using these um, 3D pearl things, adhesive pearls. And I'm just placing them down and I made the mistake of placing them down before I colored it in pink. But um, I, I regretted that. So I just took them off and now I'm just going to color it in all pink and then I'm going to stick the gems onto it. You don't need to um, put the things onto it. I just wanted to because I like 3D things. So here it is so far. Um, all I have to do is put this um, sealant glue Mod Podge type thing all over this and then I'll be done. I love this drawing of the cactus and I love the holographic poem. Christine would be proud. Um, so yeah, let's go do that. So when I painted on the Mod Podge stuff, it actually made the holographic part less holographic. And I'm sad. Cute epic montage. <laughs> get it because number two pencils <laughs> you will need pencils something to keep your pencils in if you don't want to hold it I'm using some polymer clay some tape for if you want to have straight lines you also need some paints um, because that's what we're doing today you also need some a paint palette if you want to, and a brush. I'm using a sponge brush that I made out of a makeup brush and a lolly stick. Um, I think that's it, so yeah. So as you can see, I have everything I need right here. So I'm just going to put this pencil, which I'm going to paint first, into the polymer clay. And I'm using polymer clay because it doesn't dry in the air, and this is in the air. Um, it's just something that I can, like, use to keep it sturdy. Um, so first, I think I'm going to do a watermelon-themed pencil. So I'm going to take my tape, and I am going to um, mask off the areas where I don't want the color of paint that I'm using right now on. So I think I'm going to start off with the main part, which is the reddish-pinkish color. Um, I think I'm going to use one of these. So then I'm just literally um, mixing up the paint and painting the pencil. It's not really that exciting, um, so I don't think I need to know. Okay, update. So I just um, did like three coats of that pinkish reddish color. I made it more pink than watermelons usually are, but that doesn't really matter. So um, next I'm going to paint the rind, which is the white stuff there. So let's go do that. Okay, another update. So um, I might have mentioned this already, but I did two coats of the white paint and then I did like two or three coats of the green paint. So that's the rind and that's the skin. So now I'm just going to paint little black dots with this black acrylic paint um, to make little seeds. So yeah. And then I'm just doing another pencil. I don't think I need to put in all the footage in here because this video is way too long already and it's not even finished yet. Montage time.
Number three, I saved the best for last. You will need a scissors, some pencils, some elastic. I'm really stupid and I forgot to, uh, to tell you that you need fabric. And that's like the main thing in this DIY, so stupid Katie. <laughs> And you also need a sewing machine, or you can hand sew it, but I'll bring you downstairs to my sewing machine right now. Let's go. Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> so I have my sewing machine here, and um, it's not like, um, it doesn't have the thread in it yet, so I just need to thread it. And um, I have to sew like this so you won't see the full thing in action. So I hope that's not a problem. It's not a problem anymore. It's not a problem anymore. It's not a problem anymore. Um, and also I'll probably be tapping a lot on this because it's fun. Um, if you want to make some more part two, and, you know, if you want, you can comment down below. But um, so yeah, we're going to be um. I'm putting this fabric to be a good size, and then I'm going to make a roll-up pencil case. I'm sorry about this, this hand action, I don't know what I'm doing, um, but yeah, let's go. So, how are you today? <laughs> I'm a comedic genius, I know. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut this out in like a rectangular type shape, but I'm going to cut out two of them so I can... Um, sew those two edges together and make it more like um sturdy i guess um so yeah let's go do that i don't know why i keep doing this bring in the sewing machine yeah by the way if you're new to sewing machines, then you should know that the sound is very, very loud. And I mean very loud. I'll record a little bit for you. Let's go. Yay. Also, I just wanna say that always when you're sewing something that you're going to um, have edges on or something, I don't know. Um, then definitely turn it inside out and then leave a little hole wherever and then like turn it back around and it'll look way neater than just leaving it. So yeah, tip for you, yeah. And one more thing before I start sewing, um, I usually focus on not getting my fingers underneath the needle, which I'm demonstrating for you. Do not do that, please. Um, I'm a bad influence. Um, so I might not be focusing very much on recording while I'm sewing. I'm sorry. Lego. Also, always remember that when you're sewing, you always need to do a back stitch when you're finished doing um, the sewing, um, so it doesn't like break on you, because that has happened to me before, and it's all because I forgot to do a back stitch. Okay. So here it is so far. Um, so if you wanted to leave that open and like put in a zip or some velcro or something then that would be like more cool than this but i'm not bothered to do that right now um so i'm just going to leave it and um add my elastic on So then I'm using my beautiful pencils that I actually painted myself, did you know that? Um, to use as a guide for how long the elastic should be between each little bit of sewing. You know what I mean? Um, Cause it's gonna be like 
a little piece of elastic for each pencil. I don't know really how to explain it, but um, just watch it. So here it is. It doesn't really look like much right now, but I'm going to add some ribbon. So um, yeah, we're going to roll it up and then tie it together. So yeah. So then I'm just getting a nice and long piece of ribbon and then I'm just putting the pencils in there, as many as I can fit in there to be honest. Um, then I'm rolling it up and I'm tying it together. So here's my beautiful little pencil case, all complete. So um, I just tied a bow there and I just put the ribbon just there so I could hide these because I don't know how to hide them. Um, so yeah, here's all the stuff, and here's a pencil that my friend Alana made me, she's nice, so are my other friends. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think it's really easy to make, um, so yeah, Hugh Epic Montage.